Hey, what's happening, YouTube? You guys have tuned into my YouTube channel, Zillow Surfing. I am the Zillow Surfer. Uh, and for any of you guys who don't know what Zillow Surfing is, Zillow Surfing is kind of a new word that's associated with something that a lot of us have been do doing since we were children, is imagining our dream houses, looking at dream houses. If you guys are ever driving down the street and you see a really cool or really unique house and you wind up looking it up on Zillow and finding an old listing and you can see the inside photos in the backyard, it's kind of a cool thing to do. And uh, a term that's kind of popped up in cop pop culture lately is the term Zillow surfing. And with the pandemic raging on and a lot of people stuck at home, people are thinking about their dream homes and people are reimagining new places they want to live. With a lot of people working remotely, people are thinking about making a move to another area of the country. And so Zillow search traffic is up like 50% this year. Certain areas of the country, especially the Southwest, Atlanta, North Carolina, Asheville, etc., searches for these areas are up 800%. Um, and so this is the new YouTube channel I started where we're going to be doing Zillow surfing. Zillow surfing is already kind of big on Twitter uh, with people sharing dream homes and looking at really cool and unique homes. But nobody has taken it to YouTube yet. So this is my new channel, Zillow surfing. I am the Zillow surfer. And I made a video kind of explaining what Zillow surfing is. I'll link to that down below if you guys want to check it out. In today's video, we're actually going to do some Zillow surfing. So uh, here's something I like to do. And this is a new channel. So let me know the type of content that you guys would like to see, uh, whether you guys just want me to cut to cool homes straight off the bat, uh, or if you actually want to be kind of the process of finding them. Now, one cool thing that I like to do on Zillow, and again, let me know what style of videos you like, what you like, what you don't, but one cool thing I like to do is remove the boundary, because when you search on Zillow with a boundary, it ties you into to a certain area. So a lot of times, I really like the water. I really like lakes and oceans. Uh, I'm in Chicago, so I like going to Lake Michigan, although normally I go to Indiana or Michigan uh, as opposed to going to the Chicago beaches. But a lot of times I'll look for lakefront property and just kind of drag my way up the shore uh, kind of looking at properties. Um, and we're going to do all different types of stuff. We're going to look at like realistic houses that you and I could afford to buy. Uh, and then we're also going to be looking at like huge giant mansions and things like that as well. Um, and initially what I was going to do in today's video was select uh, more and just look at waterfront properties. Uh, and I was going to look outside of Chicago. You get some pretty cool properties like out in the Indiana Dunes and stuff uh, here. But what we're going to do in today's video, there's a part of Upper Michigan I really love. I, I love Upper Michigan, and if I didn't love summertime and warm weather so much, I could probably see, him, see myself moving up there, uh, up to the Upper Peninsula up here, which a lot of people uh, confuse with Canada. I think Sean Hannity recently uh, confused it with Canada. There's a real beautiful area up here called uh, Pictured Rocks, which I want to say is right around, maybe right around here somewhere. Marquette's a really cool city. Uh, but there's a cool island called Beaver Island. Now, one of my favorite places to go is an area called Torch Lake, which with all these uh, dots up here, it might be hard to see. Um, what's kind of cool about, oh, there we are. What's kind of cool about Torch Lake is, you know, we're going to change the price point to like a minimum 500000 so we can start getting some waterfront properties. Um, Torch Lake, look up a picture of it. It's, I mean, it looks like the Caribbean. It's these turquoise blue waters. It's a, a glacial lake, uh, so it's like 300 feet deep. Uh, the Kid Rock song, All Summer Long, was actually written about uh, Torch Lake, rumor has it. Uh, so let's look at some properties up here on Torch Lake. But what we're eventually going to do, one of my favorite areas uh, here around Torch Lake, is uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes, which uh, there's an old legend that I think a mama bear and a baby bear were crossing up to Canada and the baby bear couldn't make it. So I think the baby bear, you know, I forget the story. I think the baby bear wound up drowning and then the mother came back for it, but they wound up, even though they both died, they came back. I think this is like an old uh, Native American uh, like legend. And they wound up, you know, kind of rising. The, the land rose up and this mama bear and baby bear that died trying to cross Lake Michigan uh, during a blizzard uh, wound up becoming South Manitou Island and North Manitou Island. And uh, there's an area somewhere around here called uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes. And you can kind of see these islands over here. And I think you can even go out to them. Uh, there's another island around here called Beaver Island where people actually live on. But uh, Torch Lake is one of my favorite areas. And one of the things that's really neat about Torch Lake, um, so this is the Grand Traverse Bay. This is Lake Michigan out here. Um, 
I stayed at a, a little hotel uh, right around here. And what was kind of cool, if you walked like a couple blocks to the left, you could walk over to the Grand Traverse Bay and watch a sunset. And if you walked a couple blocks over to the right, you were on Torch Lake. Um, actually, you know, I was going to pull up some pictures. You know, what the heck? Let's pull up some pictures of Torch Lake. Okay, so here's some photos of Torch Lake. And as you can see here, I mean, you could confuse this with the Caribbean, the Bahamas, uh, somewhere like that. They have big boat parties. It's a pretty rural area. There's not a ton of, like, restaurants or infrastructure or anything like that. Uh, but the water is just absolutely beautiful. So that's Torch Lake. That's the area uh, that we're looking at. But let's head on back over to Zillow. And we're going to look at some million-dollar properties that are on Torch Lake. Uh, if you actually wanted to get a property on Torch Lake, there's actually uh, a couple different cities. The city I normally stay in is called Eastport. Uh, Kewadin is another one. Uh, but let's take a look at, at this property here. You know, let's actually read about it so we have some context. Imagine creating family memories for generations to come on this truly exquisite Torch Lake property. One of a kind estate parcel featuring 11.58 acres. That's really cool. You got some land and boasting breathtaking views and 244 feet of private frontage on the coveted Torch Lake. Full log, three bedroom, 3.5 bathroom home with a full wraparound covered deck, an additional two bathroom, two, two bedroom, two bathroom log cabin guest house with high-end finishes and an amazing views of Torch Lake. Enjoy your private gazebo featuring a full wet bar, flat screen TV, and fireplace. What more could you want? Maybe a fire pit or a private dock. Done. They got that too. This property has it all, and this rear parcel doesn't come along often. If only I had $3.3 million, right? Enjoy the beauty and seclusion of this property day and night as you entertain your family and friends in total luxury. Two-car log garage with an unfinished loft, hosting great water views and an additional log garage on the back of the property to store all your toys uh, let's see here. And here's one of the cool things about Zillow surfing, right? Like you can look at cool pictures on Instagram. You can look at cool pictures on Pinterest, but you don't really know that much more about the home. You don't know what the rest of the rooms look like. It drives me crazy when I see like a really cool laundry room on Pinterest. And I'm like, I'd, I'd love to see what the rest of this home looks like. Uh, but you can't. So this is a single family home built in 1997 on 11 acres. We got, uh, five bedrooms. I'm kind of curious to go down and see the sales history as well as the taxes. You know, a property, if you guys want to take a look, there's another property. Maybe I'll make another video uh, about it. I think it's called the El Taj. It's uh, in the Chicago suburbs here. A dentist built it for like 30 or $50 million years ago. It's very kind of like Mediterranean looking. Uh, he actually wound up, I believe, running out of money before the project was completed. It wound up selling for like $2 million a couple years later. or The bank took it, took it back. Uh, the property wound up flooding. It's been sitting vacant forever. Uh, it's kind of this notorious house in the Chicago suburbs because there's this whole story behind it and nobody's ever really lived in there. And I think it just recently sold for maybe three million bucks recently. Maybe we'll make a video about that property. I know there's a lot of interior photos. Uh, been a lot of articles written about it. Uh, looks like they've changed the price a couple times. Let's go to see the last time that this property has actually sold. Uh, back in 2013, it sold for $2.7 million. Here's the property taxes. I mean, it seems high, and $29,000 is a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, I have a buddy who lives in the Chicago suburbs, and it's a nice house, but I mean, it's nothing, there's nothing one of a kind, there's nothing unique about it, and he pays $17,000. I know some other people who live out in some of the western suburbs of Chicago, they pay $13,000 a year in taxes for a fairly average house, uh, but let's take a, take a look at some of these photos. So, it's kind of cool. We got a gazebo there. Uh, looks like they don't necessarily have beachfront. It's more kind of a uh, little bit rugged, and they got a dock. It looks like that's the guest house, but that's a beautiful property there. Uh, here we got the turquoise torch lake. These guys obviously have a lot of privacy, and like I said, it's really wooded, really rural out here. So um, if you head a little bit north of here, I think it is, uh, northeast, uh, you can get to Traverse City, which is a pretty decent-sized city. And Torch Lake in this area isn't terribly far from like Grand Rapids and Detroit as far as major metro areas. Um, but it is very, very rural directly around here. Here they got the dock. Yeah, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful lake, beautiful house. Kind of cool that it's a log cabin. That makes it even more interesting. I, I've always really liked houses that are unique, and it, that's beautiful stonework there. 
Uh, you got the covered area under to get out of the sun. You got this beautiful deck, um, and then right out onto the lake. And then you got a guest house for your guest if, if, if you don't want them living in this giant mansion with you. We got some trees on the property. Uh, again, you can see the beautiful turquoise waters of Torch Lake. And what I think is kind of cool about this video that we're doing today, you know, traditionally speaking, when you see house hunter shows or when people would think about dream places to live, people would think about like Laguna Beach or Malibu. People might think about a, a penthouse in New York City. And I think this pandemic has kind of highlighted the fact that, you know, those, those are great places. Um, but if we're really living in this quote unquote new normal and things aren't going to go back to like they were before, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have some property and maybe get out and away from people. Beautiful inside. I love log cabins like this. I, you know, I'll try to see if I can find, uh, it wasn't too long ago. I was out in, uh, Montana. Uh, I was staying in an area called Gallatin Gateway and we had a beautiful house. It wasn't quite this big, uh, but it was kind of a, a log cabin type house like this that, that we had a big group of uh, friends and family go out and stay in. Actually very, very similar to this with the fireplace and the windows and everything. Uh, I love log cabins, love kind of the coziness, love the exposed beams. Um, you know, love just kind of the warm feel uh, of log cabins and things like that. Uh, that would be a huge goal of mine is to have a property, you know, out in like rural Michigan or something like that. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm a, a warm weather person. I'm a beach person. I'm kind of surprised. This is a beautiful kitchen, but it's kind of a small kitchen for a, a property of this size. Um, got the moose head on the wall. I love lofted areas. That's pretty cool. Lots of windows, which is nice. And look at those views of the lake you get through uh, through the window there. Bedroom, bathroom. Looks like this is kind of a, a guest room. I love kind of the uh, the slanted the walls and, and all the exposed logs and everything. Really cool house here. Well, we'll flip through here, and a lot of these uh, expensive houses and really unique. Oh, okay. So here's uh, the lifted loft above the above the uh, garage. That's pretty cool. Beautiful porch, right? Nice dock, beautiful lake, property is nice, well manicured. Is that a hot tub? Oh, it looks like it's a bar. Bar and an out outdoor fireplace here. Uh, it starts getting pretty cold in Michigan around, you know, it, it's really a crapshoot. I've been in Upper Michigan in October before, um, swimming in Lake Superior, which the water's cold, but it was actually like 70s outside, um, or you could wind up getting snow in September, so you just never know. Uh, looks like we're in picture 51 out of 85, so we'll go through here. Uh, we're going to take a couple, you know, maybe we'll just look around Torch Lake today. And in tomorrow's video, I'm going to give you guys a, a, a view of some of the properties on Beaver Island. But, uh, you know, you can, in Michigan, they're really big into snowmobiling, four-wheeling, things like that. So you've got a garage to kind of store all that stuff. It's kind of weird having a garage with like a lawn uh, in front of it. You know, you're used to seeing kind of a driveway. Fast Girls, Fast Boats, Torch Lake, Michigan. Okay, and then you see, like, you know, property's right on the lake right here, but just to the west of here, uh, you're on the Grand Traverse Bay. There's a great restaurant over in this area called the Torch Lake Cafe. Some of the best food I've ever eaten and great live music. Um, beautiful property here, though. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? This video is going a little bit longer than I thought. I, I tend to ramble. You'll get used to that if you watch this channel. Um... So we're just going to look around Torch Lake today, and in some of the future videos, I'll take you guys out to Beaver Island. But yeah, this one was in Ke Keewitin. Uh, that looks like it's just a property. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at this one. This one is also in Keewitin. I believe this one's going to be on the Grand Traverse Bay, uh, not Torch Lake, just because it looks like it's too vast. Okay, yeah, so you see here's Torch Lake. This one's going to be on the Grand Traverse Bay. Uh, let's give it a little read. Best Buy on the Bay, a state-sized wooded parcel. This one's also 11 acres, 150 feet of sandy footage, uh, which is kind of cool. you got a beach in front of your house. Custom quality built, 4 to 5 bedroom, 4 to 5 bathroom home, expansive outdoor living space, multi-level composite decking, and private balconies offer wonderful elevated varied water views. Uh, spacious kitchen with granite and built-in appliances each second floor bedroom includes a private full bath cozy second uh fl second floor room ideal for office lower level features large rec room spacious bedroom and full bath sliders to deck and the beach third level is an awesome retreat with a large private balcony 
perfect getaway or guest overflow, immaculate with such attention to layout and detail, ready to move in and begin making your up north memories. Due to high water levels, beach erosion has occurred on the frontage. Seller is getting estimate for plan to remedy the erosion. I'll tell you right now, that's going to be expensive. Um, let's take a look at the uh, price history. Um, oh, this one's this, this this one's cheap, guys. Not even a million bucks, under a million dollars. Uh, looks like uh, looks like they actually raised the price. I'm guessing they maybe put some work into it. Uh, the last time it sold was looks like it's been a couple years since it sold. Uh, listed for sale, removed. Okay, so you know if if we brought hopped on other sites, we could probably see the last time it sold. Um, Wow, cheap property taxes, $7,521. So it's kind of weird that both of these are in Kiwadin, uh, but this one's got such cheaper property taxes um, with pretty much the same acreage, same lake frontage, etc. cetera. Uh, beautiful uh, aerial view there, right? Nice in a wooded setting. It doesn't look like you have as much privacy. I'm guessing that's the neighbors right there, uh, but nonetheless, beautiful home. Little bit, quite a bit more modern than the log cabin. Uh, this one has a very kind of 90s feel to me. Beautiful windows. I'm a plant lover, so that would be great for having plants in there. Living room's a little bit small. Uh, you can see the beautiful water of the Grand Traverse Bay there, kind of a cool fireplace. Uh, again, definitely kind of a 90s feel. Uh, it's kind of interesting, kind of like rounded drywall features and things like that. Decent kitchen. What, I'm, what I've been kind of surprised about, we kind of commented on the kitchen of the last property. This kitchen is super nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, 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 it's nicer than my kitchen. Uh, but for a million-dollar home, I might expect a little bit more out of my kitchen. Here's kind of a nice sunroom. Uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it could be a cigar room. Got that kind of rounded feature there. You know, the, the home is very nice, but I would expect... Uh, this is very 90s to me, these, uh, these glass blocks. I would expect a little bit more for the price point. Uh, it's a little bit dated, although, again, maybe if this property wasn't dated, it'd be going for $1.5 or $2 million. This way to the beach. This is a cool property. It's on the beach. It's not as beachy. Very 90s bathroom, a little bit dated there. Fairly small bedroom. I like skylights in bathrooms. That's always kind of a cool feature. Here looks like a little like reading nook or something like that. Uh, love upstairs balcony. is very, very cool there. Kind of an upstairs nook sitting room. Uh, this looks like, what is it, like a basement or ground floor level, a uh, little kind of den or office or TV room. Bedrooms are a little bit small. I'm kind of surprised. Cool house. If you like kind of a more modern look, uh, that one's probably right up your alley. Uh, let's see here. So I kind of mentioned on Torch. Okay, that's uh, land too. Like I said, there's a bunch of different cities around Torch Lake. It looks like a lot of these properties are empty properties. This this looks like a beautiful one. Five point five million dollars. I think the other one was what three million. Uh, seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, eleven thousand square feet. I'm guessing this one's on some acreage as well. Uh, we kind of saw where it was on the map. A magnificent estate located on the Caribbean-like blue waters of Torch Lake. Almost four acres. So the past couple properties we looked at were 11 acres, almost four acres with 300 feet of lake frontage. Uh, this 11,000 plus square foot home and guest house, we got a guest house too, with seven bedrooms and eight baths and two powder rooms, centrally located to Traverse City, Petroski, Charlevoix, and Gaylord. Puts you in the heart of everything that makes Northern Mich Michigan so special. Easy access to some of the country's best golf courses, to amazing dining, wine country, ski resorts, famous festivals, events, and much, much more. With the unmatched craftsmanship and attention to detail, this one is one of a kind. I'm excited to see this one. I don't know about you guys. This one, Zillow estimates it at $5.1 million. Uh, Zillow estimates, you know, they're not exact things. Uh, let's see. You know, these... these Big mega properties uh, have probably been in the family for a long time. Uh, so a lot of these things, we can't really see a past sales history. Property taxes, $30,000. That's, that's a lot of property taxes. So if you can afford that home, $30,000 is probably a drop in the bucket for you. What's really kind of cool about this property is uh, it's very modern. Well, it's set. It, it's modern, right? But it's also kind of like that Seattle, Oregon, Pacific Northwest look to it. Uh, but we got kind of these modern windows, the metal roof. Uh, but also it's in this kind of rugged nature of Michigan, which is really cool. 
cool property. I like that. That's very like Montana like. It reminds me of being out in Montana. It doesn't look like they have any beach frontage, uh, but they do have a dock. You could swim right off the dock. And it looks like they might even have a swimming pool right there, which is pretty cool. Very, very wooded lot, which I really kind of dig. Very cool stonework. I love this. This is awesome. How uh, I, one of my, I, I like restaurants. When you go to a restaurant, and they have those glass uh, garage doors that slide up and kind of turn it into an indoor outdoor outdoor area. Looks like that's what we got going on here. This is really cool. Love the exposed beams. Uh, love the kind of log cabin look of things. That's a really kind of unique chandelier. Uh, nice stone fireplace in the center. This is a beautiful home. Kind of a funky kitchen. I, I dig those uh, red and blue. Uh, what do you call that? Red and blue. Uh, why am I having a brain fart? Not shelves. Red and blue drawers. Um, and it's kind of cool how they have the, it looks like two uh, dishwashers and the sink built into the island as opposed to kind of on that. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I like this uh, little you know, window here with the, the sitting area of the nook. We got exposed uh, exposed timbers here. Really, really neat. Beautiful wood floors throughout. Love the ceiling. This is really kind of funky and cute. My, my girlfriend is a book lover, so th this is like a really cool feature right here. And because there are so many reading nooks, and uh, really kind of cool to have books, how would you like to kind of cozy up on this couch, uh, light a fire downstairs, make yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and read a book and look out these windows? I like this th these lamps. That's pretty cool. And actually, I don't think that's a built-in. I think that's a, a piece of furniture. Yeah, this house is funky. I dig this. I, I really like the ceiling and kind of the slanted uh, slanted kind of roofing here. Beautiful home. Beautiful home. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. You got your own gym uh, downstairs. How'd you like that? Get in a workout and then go uh, go take a dip in Torch Lake. Really nice kitchen. What is this? The bedroom? Beautiful. You know, it looks like this is a house that you would have like a either a corporate retreat at or a family reunion. So it's kind of cool that you got this giant sleeping area. Beautiful sunsets. That that is a cool property right there. Do we got anything else on Torch Lake? There's another lake over here called Bass Lake. That's pretty cool. You know what? I'm starting to get hoarse in my voice. Um, so I'll tell you what. This was initially going to be a Beaver Island uh, video. But we wound up looking at Torch Lake. You know, we're going to look at one more property that's going to be on the Grand Traverse Bay. Oh, and this looks like a funky one. This one should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at this one. $1.6 million, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, 5,000 square feet. From the moment you enter the spacious 2.9 acre property, it's clear why you've arrived at the beach why you're arrived, that's not proper grammar, at the premier waterfront communities in northern Michigan. Beginning your Michigan, beginning your northern Michigan adventure is easy as pulling into the driveway of this beautiful, completely modern Victorian. Uh, really kind of a cool style there. Four bedrooms, 3.5 bath home features not only stunning views across the expan expanse of the East Bay and its incomparable sunsets, but also incorporates all of the classic elements of this luxury lifestyle. Expansive grounds, stunning interior design, and numerous other features are all found in this exceptional home. The gourmet kitchen, complete with granite countertops and modern appliances, opens to the spacious open floor plan that seamlessly connects the central living space as a fantastic space to entertain, to relax, and to enjoy any day, month, or season of the year. In one of the most sought-after neighborhoods with 120 feet of beautiful sandy beach frontage on the eastern shore of the Grand Traverse Bay, this is an old world home with a modern cutting edge finish and features and offers everything you need to make this home the home of your dreams. Roomy, beautiful, elegant, comfortable with every possible creature comfort one, one could want. This is a one of a kind home awaiting the fortune, awaiting the fortunate family that will occupy it. So let's take a look here. Looks like they start us off with a view of a sunset over the East Bay. Uh, kind of a cool porch there. We got these kind of Victorian features, heavily wooded, which is kind of cool. Uh, there are not a you got bears up here. You might have some wolves up here in northern Michigan, but definitely a lot of uh, cool animals and things like that. That pink and purple is kind of funky. It's kind of bringing in the the old and the new. Um, and I really like everything about this property. Victorian isn't necessarily a, an architecture style that I love, uh, but this home is really pretty cool. 
tons of windows to uh, to take advantage of the views of the bay. Nice fireplace there. Personally, I don't really like this stone here or necessarily the wood. But again, this is Victorian, so it's not necessarily my preferred uh, style, though it is a beautiful home. We got a nice kitchen here, uh, kind of the built-in beer and wine cooler. Range built into the island. Kind of a cool, funky bedroom. I dig that. That's a really cool kind of sitting area right there. Again, I, I'm, a, I'm a plant lover, so my girlfriend would have this area full of plants on the ground and hanging plants. Uh, we got, you know, nice area to get a workout in, huh? Looking out into nature. Nice bathroom. We got the tub and the shower. It looks like we got a shower head there, a shower head here, and a shower head there. So it looks like you get three people in this. Uh, you could have a freaky party. You get three people in that shower, huh? Oh, we got a bidet. Butthole would be clean. Live in here. Nice sitting room. Again, plenty of windows kind of throughout. Love that ceiling. The fan, fan's really cool, too. I love those uh, airplane propeller kind of style fans. Picture 43 of 67. I like their style. Nice bathroom here. Kind of unique little library sitting area here. Got the ping pong room. Okay, it looks like these people are into flight. Obviously, we've seen a couple airplanes and things like that. So I think that's kind of what inspired the ceiling fans. we got some kayaks outside. It looks like we got some stonework on the exterior of the home as well. 58 to 67. I love that fireplace. This is a little bit different, right? It looks like in the basement they went with a little bit more of a, a modern feel, uh, which is kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Cool area to kind of stack the, uh, the firewood for uh, this wood-burning stove here. Beautiful garage with the epoxied floor and storage. Looks like they got a nice uh, little uh, 90s BMW like you'd see uh, in some of those. Uh, I, sh I should say 80s BMW like you'd see in some of like, the 80s teeny bopper movies. Let's see. There's a sunset with some snow on the ground. Absolutely beautiful. So this was uh, this was actually our first ever true Zillow surfing uh, video that we've ever made. I made the first video for this channel, which was kind of just describing what Zillow surfing is. Uh, today we took a look at Tor Torch Lake and a, a couple other places around northern Michigan. Let me know some areas that you guys would like to see. Uh, we might hop around and, and head down to, to Florida or something like that, or maybe Texas in uh, in the next video. But I would like to. Uh, get back up here in one of these videos and show you guys some properties up here on Beaver Island. Look at this one. We'll give you a teaser. You know, maybe we'll look at this one next time. This is beautiful. That's what's next to come. Stay tuned for the next video. If you like these types of videos, this style of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Uh, and if you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up so more people see these videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.